When is Ubisoft going to be showcasing the upcoming Assassin's Creed Mirage gameplay? All of the questions are now going to be answered in this video because it is finally time that I think Ubisoft should give us some kind of answers because everybody in the Assassin's Creed community, including me, myself, as a fan base, everyone's upset that Ubisoft has already put out the pre-orders for Assassin's Creed Mirage by just showing a cinematic trailer with the Ubisoft Forward event, but they haven't really shown us any proper gameplay or nothing at all that convinces us customers in order to pay $50 for this game and pre-order it before we can even get our eyes on what we are paying that money for. Now, obviously, when you look at things from the marketing team of Ubisoft, it definitely does not look good because they have already put out all the different versions of pre-orders, one being the standard and deluxe edition, and there's also collector's edition that is going out on sale, and nobody even knows how the game is going to look. The only thing we know is that we have a cinematic concept here, and apart from that, there is nothing that Ubisoft is revealed to the public eyes now of course behind the closed doors ubisoft has been providing us with some gameplay screenshots and all that stuff but it still does not do any justice for the public eyes because i mean all of you guys from the community do actually deserve to know what the game looks like before you can pay your money or pre-order an assassin's creed title especially from all the past that ubisoft has with assassin's creed games i think most of the assassin's creed fans have moved on from the franchise especially since the game moved on to a more like an rpg style and that is something the old school fans are trying to stay away from. So before they pre-order the game, they of course want to see what they're getting their hands dipped into. Now the best answer as to when we are going to be getting the gameplay reveal, the official gameplay to be showcased for the first time, is all based on the records that we have related to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now if you take a look at Valhalla, they basically revealed a cinematic trailer where Boss Logic was the one who kind of did a Photoshop image of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and then we also got a cinematic trailer and that that was pretty much it for an entire month. So Ubisoft usually when it comes to their marketing strategies, they always release a cinematic trailer first for like a whole month and, and then they release the pre-orders before they even show any gameplays or anything or even in-game engine footage or whatever. So they are blindly just asking us to pay the money for something we have no clue on what it looks like. Now of course with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it was a whole different thing because the game was set in the Viking setting and the Vikings was something that people people were super hyped about because we never really had a proper Viking game before. So Assassin's Creed Valhalla was like the first game that was giving us a huge Viking fantasy experience and that was something that actually got the entire gaming community hyped and that's probably the reason why Ubisoft managed to secure a lot of pre-orders for Assassin's Creed Valhalla and they're trying to expect the same thing with Assassin's Creed Mirage here by simply just showing us a cinematic trailer and then asking for pre-orders to go live. This is of course not a really good marketing in terms of Ubisoft and for Valhalla they took about a whole month in order to show anything that is related to even in-game footage so for Assassin's Creed Valhalla Ubisoft basically took an entire month to even show some footage that is running on the game engine so it is of course obvious that Ubisoft is following the same strategy for Assassin's Creed Mirage as well so it is at least going to take one whole month ever since the official CGI trailer got released and from there we're going to be moving on to a whole month and that's when we're going to be getting some in-game engine footage footage now listen it's not going to be some kind of a gameplay footage that ubisoft is straight away going to just bombard us with they're of course first of all going to show us something related to in-game engine footage and then after that is when we're going to be most likely going to get some kind of a gameplay footage or some new missions or whatever that ubisoft would like to show off in their upcoming ubisoft forward event and also since we are very close to 2023 since the game is going to be releasing in q1 of 2023 so mirage is very close to launch here we're only a couple months away from this year officially getting over and i still can't believe 2022 just passed away so freaking fast and we already got over with assassin's creed valhalla's content and a bunch of stuff like that with year two itself and we're already here with assassin's creed mirage releasing in the upcoming year and there's one thing that i think ubisoft could have done better is by at least showing us some kind of in-game engine footage if not gameplay or whatever they could have at least shown us how the game engine looks like how the graphics and all the stuff looks like inside the game so we can kind of get an idea idea of what we are even trying to pay the money for if people are going to like it or not before they could pre-order but then it seems like ubisoft does not want to do that stuff they just want to simply put out the pre-orders and whereas we have no idea what we are paying that money for so i think that ubisoft is kind of doing a little scummy game here by just putting out pre-orders without really giving us any gameplays and for those of you guys who have been asking when can we expect to see the official gameplay reveal of assassin's creed mirage i would honestly say that ubisoft is at least 
least going to be taking an entire month after the launch of the cinematic trailer because that is exactly what they did with Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I'm also guessing that they're going to be following up the same pattern so they're probably at least going to take about a whole month so don't keep your hopes up because we're not going to be getting any gameplays until then now of course if Ubisoft does end up sharing any kind of gameplay footage or anything related to new screenshot any information then this channel is of course going to be the one where you're going to be getting all the latest information about all the upcoming open world games Assassin's Creed Mirage and basically everything that is related to open world is going to be available right here on the channel first so make sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel and turn the notifications on so that you guys don't miss out on the content that I upload every single day and also I keep you guys updated with all the latest informations about Assassin's Creed Mirage so if that is something you guys are interested to watch then make sure to go ahead subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on and the most important step of all make sure that you guys are setting your notification settings to all because if you don't do that then the broadcast YouTube platform they just don't send you guys the notifications of my daily videos so make sure you guys do it and let me know down below in the comments have you guys already pre-ordered Assassin's Creed Mirage or are you guys one of those who are waiting for the gameplay reveal or some kind of in-game engine footage so that you kind of get to know what the game looks like before you have to pay your money or did you guys already pre-order the game and also which edition are you guys going to be getting is it going to be standard edition deluxe edition or the collector's edition and I know for a fact that the collector's edition is completely out of stock right now all over the country so you're most likely not going to be getting your hands on if you haven't already pre-ordered that one but I would love to know which edition are you guys purchasing if you ask me though I would honestly say the best edition to even buy for Assassin's Creed Mirage is basically going to be the standard edition so just go for the standard edition because the deluxe is pretty much not providing any kind of values at all so standard is the best so far so yeah with that being said lads if you guys did go on and enjoy this video then please make sure to go ahead and drop a like on this video because your support is very much appreciated it does help support my channel it does help support the videos that i post for you guys every single day so if you guys could just take a few seconds and drop a like that would really really mean a lot to me as a content creator and with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video until then take it easy fans and Goodbye.